Hey guys, this is ZZ Quickscope ZZ, and today I'm making this video on just a little tutorial of how to use iMovie 11. Um, when you first get iMovie 11, there's a tour. Um, everybody likes to skip that, and a lot of people don't know how to get back to it, including me, so they don't know how to use it, and they get all mad and frustrated. So I'm loading up iMovie 11 right now, and I'm just going to go to File up here on the left corner. Okay, well it's uh, still opening up, so give it a sec. Okay, so you're going to scroll to Import, Movies, Camera, Archive, or iMovie HD Project if you have a 1080p to 720 video. So we're going to open up just Movies for now. You can make it to the 1080p later. So I just have a simple Harry Potter video. Okay, so you would click Import. And I already have titles and, you know, some stuff. So I'll show you how to get that. Don't worry. So first you can get music. Um, if you have FrostWire, you can download it and it will save into iTunes. And then automatically when you hit music, it'll open up iTunes right here and music. And it'll show all the stuff you put in there. So um, I have sound effects in there, like just normal sound effects. So then you can go into uh, titles and you can drag a title so first of all what I'm actually forgot to say when you import your video your video will be right here you would click on it right click and hit um, see if I can do it up here okay you would right click and hit um, click the whole thing and it should the whole video should be yellow then you would from here drag it up to in there and then it would appear like that because that's how you add in titles. So I'm just going to add in a random title. Uh, I don't know. Let's say this one at the back there. So then you can, it will ask you for a background. You can choose one. So I'll get the moving curtain. Okay, then you can hit show fonts. Scroll down here. You can change the color which would be here, what it looks like, and the size. So you can have it, you know, big, click on it, then hit done. You can hit style. You can hit where you want it, like in the middle, stuff like that. So, impact looks pretty cool. Um, I'll hit impact, and I think I will make it nine. Why not? Okay, then we hit done. Okay, you can also change the color. I'm just going to type in my YouTube name. Okay, so then you can go over here and you can play it. That's all it is. You can add in music. Obviously, you'd have it in your video probably. So if you want something big like the Star Wars title right here, um, it's really hard to read if it, unless if it's going slow. So if you want something like that, you can click here. It'll give you this little arrow here. You can click. Clip and adjustments. Click that. So now it's at 4.0 seconds, which is 4 seconds. So you're going to type in, let's say, um, 7 decimo 0 s. So 7 seconds. You can make it as long as you want. So and it'll go on for seven seconds. You can edit that. Uh, you can scroll over to here. Transitions, it's effects where you can add it, like spin out, cir oh, circle open, all kinds of stuff. You can figure that out, whatever one you want. You can click here. Matte backgrounds, so you can have like a matte background. And then, oh, okay, you can have like close-ups, close-up landscapes, two-shot, all, so all sorts of stuff the uh, normal titles that I showed you earlier so that's how you do that so you can do that and then you can also do a couple things here you can click some stuff which is called record a voiceover which means in this video it has Harry Potter in it um, you could I could voice over it take all the audio out and talk into it make it a video so yeah there's my basic thing for iMovie. I also want to add in if you want to save it or share it. You can click share 
hit export movie and then it'll open up like documents and stuff you can save it in there uh publish it edit it whatever you want you can upload it to youtube stuff like that um when you open up youtube i open it up i'm not uploading it though you type in your password um this make sure you check this off because this always is checked it says make this movie personal don't do that unless if you want it personal obviously and then it says size to publish mobile medium large 1080p HD 1080p so that's pretty cool so I'll cancel that so it's all kinds of stuff you know just play around with it these uh, six buttons five buttons over here really good so that's how you do that and uh, yeah if you want to edit the audio just click the audio clip you know fiddle around with it so that's my little tutorial how to use iMovie. Thanks guys, comment, rate, subscribe. Peace.